Senator Wicker, and I want to just say, again, thanks to Senator Wicker for all his work in getting the safety bill. Uh, he was chairman of the committee at the time, and we worked collaboratively many, many months on this legislation. So thank you again for that. And many other members of this committee worked on it as well. Oh, well, thank you for those kind words, Madam Chair. And, uh, and yes, it, it did take an all-out effort on both ends of the dais by many, many members. Um, just briefly before I get into whistleblowing, uh, do you have the workforce you need to implement AXA? And um, do, um, do you have the funds you need to get the personnel you need? Thank you, Senator Wicker, for the question. I, echo, I really appreciate the support that both you and, the, and Chair Cantwell have given the agency. I do believe we're on a pathway. We've, we, we're, we've done a lot of deep diving on what are the skill sets that we need. We are, we've got within 100 numbers of our federally authorized number within ABS. And as I mentioned earlier, we're on a course to have an additional um, and we're going to go up to 7,775 by the end of this year. We've been bringing on another 75 uh, engineers on the certification side. We're hiring more safety inspectors. We're hiring more chief scientists and senior technical uh, specialists. So we think we're on a pathway. We think the right set. Okay, well, it, let, me, let me just do that. Supplement yes, your answer, if, if you will, because I want to get on to, uh, to whistleblowing. Um, and, and I'm going to... I'm going to read my question to try to get it all in and let you respond. Um, when I was ranking member of this committee, uh, we collected and investigated information for 57 whistleblowers. The investigation released by this committee found that common themes among whistleblower allegations, insufficient training, improper certification, FI, FAA management acting favorably toward operators, and management undermining the frontline inspectors. Uh, the investigation concluded that these trends were often accompanied by retaliation against those who report safety violations and a lack of effective oversight, resulting in a failed FAA safety management culture. AXA thought to, sought to address a number of these concerns by establishing an ombudsman, renaming the Office of Audit and Evaluation as the Office of Whistleblower Protection and Aviation Safety and um, uh, enabling the newly renamed office to investigate claims of whistleblower retaliation. Um, has the FAA worked to improve accountability, aviation safety, and whistleblower protections? And according to a report uh, released in just in January of this year by the Office of Inspector General at DOT, there are four specific actions that the FAA needs to take in order to ensure compliance. Um, FAA responded to this report and concurred with the Inspector General's four recommendations. Can you please update us on how FAA plans to improve AAE's compliance with the statutory requirements of AXA? I will list the four, um, the, the four specific actions if, if uh, you need for me to. Uh, no, sir. Uh, well, thank you again for the question. Uh, so I meet the as you, the committee may be aware, the, the Office of uh, Audit and Whistleblower, if you will, that is a position that's appointed by the secretary. That position reports to the administrator. I have ongoing meetings at least twice monthly, and there's, unless there's a need to just present. So is it fully are, staffed and up and running? It is fully staffed and is up and running, yes, sir. Uh, so we, we take it very seriously, the role for whistleblowers. I, I see every case that comes before me. Specifically, as you talk about, I believe you're talking about oversight cases for different airlines, if I believe that's what you're referring to. Um, we have much of those work. We've agreed with the findings of the officer of the inspector general. We've had uh, many of them have been closed out for those that haven't. We are working to ensure that we get those closed out. At the same time, we are working to ensure that our inspectors, be it at a OEM or at an airline, have ensuring that they've got the skill sets, that level of oversight, any additional training that we need to do to ensure that they are discharging their duties correctly. I think there was an issue about whether or not uh, they were, uh, had done their own independent analysis. So I want to make sure. Now, I would say to the committee, a good, robust SMS would ensure compliance with the regulations. But we need to make sure that our inspectors have done their own analysis and they should be able to come to the, 
the same conclusion. And where we have a gap, we will go work on that. Well, okay, let me just say this, and I say this um, to the distinguished chair. Um, I, I take this very seriously. This is a lot of, uh, uh, of um, information concerning really abuse of whistleblowers. I, I think transparency is important. There is no place in uh, the FAA or the federal government for retaliation for people who come forward with legitimate information. And so uh, I hope you will follow the timeline and I hope you'll get back to us uh, if you have any problems because this is something that was considered serious enough that it was placed in the statute and those you, adjustments were made. Yes, sir. You have our commitment that we'll follow up. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Madam Chair.